The Riot interviews. It is The Riot on Radio U. I Let's don't... do it while we were doing off air. Michael, Michael, Michael. Michael. Yay! We're not just saying that. We were actually doing Nikki. it. Nikki. Oh, it's that. Yay! This is Michael with Reg. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Man, how are you guys doing? We're doing very good. Thank you. Michael, we haven't talked to you in a long time. I know, because I'm always quiet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm on voice rest. Guys, why are you talking to me right now? Yeah. Are, you re- are you really on voice rest right now? Well, now we're just... No! Usually, as, sometimes as the vocalist no, and stuff... I'm not! You, you obviously are not at that point. It's very strong. But sometimes uh, vocalists won't always, just because, especially if you have a long day of interviews, uh, it can be a lot on the voice. Oh, yeah, def- definitely for sure. Um, yeah, uh, as a vocalist, you just got to be careful, you know, um, you can wear yourself out. You just keep talking and talking and talking. Thankfully, I'm just not a talker. I'm just not a talker. Just, I... <laughs> well, we are very happy to talk to you today. Very happy. <laughs> Michael. No, I'm happy to be able to talk. So, Yeah. You know what, dude? Do you know I have a story that I tell about you all the time? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, now, you... now I've got a story about you. I heard on the break uh, something about you showering and you can't see the tears. I don't know. It's weird. But... Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? That's personal. Um. <laughs> No, dude, I don't know. You probably will not remember this, but the first time I met you was at a label party where they had Guitar Hero set up. Oh, at and, GMA years yeah, ago in and Nashville? And I was like, I was so excited. I'd never played it. And I played it, a, <laughs> I played it a whole bunch with just some guy who was really quiet. He didn't really talk to me at all, whatever. And then afterwards, they were like, oh, yeah, that's the lead singer from Red. That's Michael. And I was like, what, really? Yeah, he's a jerk. <laughs> like, no, he never thought that. Me? That is never that. Because sometimes we will get like, oh, they're silent because they're just a, a quiet person. Or sometimes they're silent maybe for the, the ruder reason. But, oh, no, no, you were just silent. You are just quiet. That was it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was I've, early on in my career too. I'm I'm not as quiet anymore as I used to be. <laughs> well, Obi is still as loud yeah, as he always still is. Still as obnoxious, but whatever. <laughs> He's not toned down or changed. So I just have to ask: Are you still playing Guitar Hero, or did you give it up? Uh, I played it recently in an arcade. So, really? And I was I was drawn to it. Yeah, I was like, oh man. I was a little rusty, though. I was not, I was not as good as I was back then. But in Guitar Hero, I think it was Guitar Hero Two when it first came out it was right when we started hitting off as a band and i always wanted to be a guitar player but <laughs> that's not how you according to guitar players that's not how you learn yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm sure well have you and done... most guitar players are awful at guitar hero too <laughs> well have you played anything like with virtual reality because for guitar hero and stuff what what the new thing now is virtual reality stuff of beat saber which is you ever heard of that like the lightsaber um where you're going along to different songs and with the beats and you're slashing with your um controllers and stuff so that that's the new thing yes i the beats, i mean i've i've done virtual reality games but i've never played that game that sounds awesome Dude. Are you like a Jedi starfighter or something, or and you slash through enemies to beat? Well, you, going on, you just slash through little blocks that are certain colors, which when I say it like that, does it a real disservice? It does not do it justice. <laughs> yeah. It does right. not. It is, blocks. it is <laughs> really cool, like, dude. No, not but, like the Sith. No, but it has arrows, so like, oh, you got to take your, your saber and go in, or you go up, or you go down. So it is more advanced than just how you describe it. <laughs> So, you know what? Yeah, good good story, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yes! yes! Good job. Yes! Thank you, Michael. Yes! Thank that you, Michael. <laughs> this is Michael from Red, by okay, the way. Okay, finally. <laughs> let's just talk about the band, then. <laughs> well, How did you guys get your name? Well, let's do this. Let's just remind everybody. We talked to Marty. Well, that's a good story, actually. <laughs> we talked to Marty from uh, Social Club Misfits the other day. They're going to be joining you and a lot of others for Spirit Song, which is at Kings Island, and that is coming up on June 21st through the 23rd. So It'll be great to to have you guys apart with Social Club Misfits as well. Yeah, man, we, uh, we've done uh, Kings Island several times, and it's always fun. Um, it usually rains, but it's <laughs> always fun either way. <laughs> so, as long as it's um, not during yeah. your time on stage, it's best then. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it does, but whatever. I still got in the crowd, and people people love the music, and so they're out there even wearing like rain jackets or umbrellas, but they're still out there rocking it out, and and then. Uh, we get to go hang out with them afterwards and ride rides, and it's just a fun time overall. I mean, if nobody's ever been to Kings Island, you got to go because it's an amazing place. So, are you guys roller coaster riders or roller coaster watchers? 
Oh, writers for sure. Okay. I mean, I I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, so that's where I was to Cedar born. Point all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sandusky, Ohio. Come on, man. <laughs> Cedar Point. Hey, man. America's roller coaster. And Kings Island doesn't mind that because they're all owned by, by Cedar company, Fair, yeah. so they're perfectly fine with all that. <laughs> oh, I mean, they're all the rides. The Kings uh, Kings Island there, dude. I mean, the, the roller coaster rides are great there. Mm-hmm. Dude, they're amazing. So yeah, I'm a connoisseur. I like to. If there's any coasters, I'm like, oh, what does this one do? What does this one do? This one shoot through a volcano? What was this? That's awesome. <laughs> so, do you, look, as a band, like, will they give you a person and take you around to let you ride all the rides? Um, Kings, I think, yeah, you can do that. Um, in the past, uh, I, or recently, I haven't done that. Okay. But I think, I think you can. Um, it just takes time. Like, you have to ask for somebody to come get you. But yeah, yeah. I mean, we've done that, like, because we've, we've done some shows at, like, Universal and Disney, and that's what they do. They, like, walk you around and send you through the exit line. Oh, oh yeah, so good. Right. Yeah, once, you can ride so good. over. Oh. Rendo, rendo. Once you've done that, and once they, like, save the front seat for you, it's really hard to go back and, like, wait in line and, like, go the other <laughs> oh, way. Because we'll, we'll take our kids with us to Universal or Disney, and they, and they take you through the exit line, and that's all our kids know. Oh, dude. So, they, yeah, they, they, are, they don't know the real world. Line stuff. <laughs> what is this? They're going to grow up and be like, I hate it here. I know. They don't understand. Like for Where's my dad? Cedar Point, for the new ride, we talked about um, last week how it was they were having trouble with part of it, and it was a, a five-hour wait to get on the new ride. And it's just like you can't even believe what that would be like. Like, what? Yeah. how do you wait five hours for that? So, well, it's good they let yeah, you guys in. The- <laughs> They've got the de- decapitation rate down to five oh, no. per, in a week. So good. That's no, no, good. That's no good. No one's saying good. that. No one's it's saying good. that. <laughs> <laughs> that was Michael. That was not us. <laughs> so, Michael, real quick, I know you've got a lot to do today, but I just got to ask, like, how are things with the band? Like, anything we should be on the lookout for? Uh, great, man. I mean, we're going to be hitting it pretty hard this summer, and then we're going to be uh, doing some uh, some touring possibly over in Russia and then Australia, oh. some got some dates that are coming up um not totally confirmed yet but we were working on it um so yeah we're trying to uh, build up our fan base across the, um, the the globe um but we're uh i think we're working on a lot of people had asked you know are you guys going to do an acoustic ep mm-hmm. uh we talked about it i think that's in the works cool um there's a couple of things that are in the works that we're still working on um i think we're going to start heading into the studio to start just getting our heads wrapped around a new record possibly okay um this is this is the end this is the sixth record of our of of our um uh label contract so there's a lot of new things coming um as as far as like are we going to go independent are we going to resign like what you know so there's a lot of like new doors that are kind of opening up for us which is interesting because a lot of bands don't make it to the end of their contract and so it's kind of a different kind of a different realm for us so it's exciting to see that um it's crazy to think that we've been doing this for over 12 years now. Just, wow. Well, yeah, I'll, all the say, fights and I'll say this, better than ever, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> better than ever. We oh, really like it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're playing it. I, like, we really like Gone. We oh, think yeah. that's a great Sounds song. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds amazing. Yeah, so I think I think that's, I really like that song. It's It plays over live really well. Um, we've got a lot of uh, more electronic kind of stuff. And we're trying to, in, we're trying to incorporate, and there's just the technology that's coming out is amazing. So we're trying to incorporate all the sounds we possibly can with on the record to the live by using like different track pads. And um, there's just the technology that's coming out. We're looking at right now that looks amazing where we can all kind of get involved and just make it an overall experience for everybody. And so, yeah, we're always pushing the boundaries. We're always trying to make um, like the live show an experience. And I've, I believe over the 12 years, we've got a little bit of experience under our belts finally <laughs> now. And, and so, yeah, so definitely come out to a show. Um, we're very interactive. That's for sure. Right on. Well, you know what? It has been great talking to you, Michael. Like we, we always end up talking to Anthony or to Randy and it was nice that you got a chance to be off vocal rest and talk to us. Can man. we do it again? Michael, yeah. Michael, 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 Oh, you guys, stop it, stop it. Stop. Okay, keep going, keep going. Michael. I'm so good. I'm so good. Well, hang tight one second. Again, details on Spirit Song for Red and Social Club Misfits. Uh, that is available if you go to RadioU.com. We will be excited because we're going to be there, too. So for more information on Spirit Song, RadioU.com. You want to play Gone? Gone. It's red <laughs> on the Riot. Want to hear more? Check out riot.radiou.com.